Hi! This is not how I want to start this. <laughs> oh, I, okay. I'm gonna do, a, like, a, a really, like, like, very drafty review of, uh, the Canvas 16 2021 that I got two day, three days ago, I think? Yeah. Um... I don't know. I, 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 I like the idea of, of doing something like this, possibly, because I want to be able to look back on the video and sort of, like, when I'm further down the road and I might have a job that's into, like, digital art and all that, I want to see, like, where I started from. So I'll just go ahead and unplug it real quick and just sort of show you guys what it looks like. Oh, God. This chunkster right here. Can't even get it in frame. <laughs> this is the Humion Canvas uh, 16 2021 edition. It has uh, four tiny buttons. I'm really trying to get this in frame. One, but uh, back to the topic at hand. Uh, okay, I'm gonna preface this. I'm new to this. I don't know how to sort of do the transition set. So. Whoa! <laughs> New camera angle! Wow! <laughs> Again, I'm doing this all from my phone. This is a fun time. Uh, I have to plug this in real quick. There are two ports on the, the canvas. There's one for a 3-in-1 port that has HDMI, power, USB-B, or not USB-B, but USB-A, and then uh, data for USB-A. And power, of course, can come from either the laptop or from uh, the, the power adapter that came in the box. And it's usually pretty specific. And in my case, I got the, the US adapter. And I've never actually seen one of these before, personally. So it's, it's like you just push it down and you can just like lock it in, sort of, if I can get this in frame. Sort of lock it out and pop it out. <laughs> And we're back. <laughs> Ten minutes after, I reset OBS settings and app data, and I have it set to 720. Everything's working fine so far. As you can see, it looks really good. I don't know what to draw though, because <laughs> I haven't really tested it too much. But now I can actually use like physical objects as measuring. So let's see how this looks. All right, that's like that's a straight line with a ruler. Let's see how it looks with just my hand overall. I can't do a straight line. Now, personally, for me, I have very shaky hands. Like there, it's very minimal. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera, but they, 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 and with usual human hands, it's like the reason that shit's shaky and it's not all that flowy is that. Like, you know, your blood's, like, moving around, like, your, your entire body, like, really fast. It's not noticeable to you, but to a program that is reading, like, every bit of your movement from this, it's gonna look really weird. But, overall, like, how it looks so far looks really good with, like, the measuring. Like, I'm not really noticing any... Should probably use a turnip pen? Yeah, let's use the turnip pen. Or a G pen. Yeah, the G pen. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see how this looks with just a regular G pin. All right, okay, not bad. Now let's try it with my shaky human hand. Just trying to make sure to get the deliberate line. Oh, no. Oh. See, like it's not gonna look like it's not gonna look perfect, but that's the thing that that makes like if you're doing like like, freehand art, that it adds more of the human touch if it doesn't have a lot of stabilization. I have mine set to 7. I don't use the G-Pin too much. I mainly use uh, an MS Paint pen uh, pencil that I sort of made myself by, like, putting, like, a singular dot in MS Paint and then saving that as an image, remaking it in Clip Studio as a brush material, and then making a new brush. It doesn't, it's not all that different, I feel like. 
So I'll just change it to like 12 or something like that. Yeah, yeah let's, let's put it back to 8. Because I usually draw stuff like, like this. It's just very simple. Not a lot going on. If I can get the... And I draw... I had somebody who we who I did like a, a drawing night with at some point who compared how I draw bodies to like a Chef Boyard you can. <laughs> I'm gonna look for a, a Chef Boyard you can real quick. Let's get like a yeah, like this one. Yeah, there we go. This one should be good. Beef ravioli and tomato and meat sauce. Let's take this. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> what the fuck? But, well, hmm, I mean, yeah, I guess. I might, I'm not, I'm not really, like, giving anybody decent content that they're willing to watch, so it makes sense. I really do need to start a new channel so my reach is better, I feel like. But I'd rather just stick with this one, because I can make a new channel with, with the same email account, right? I think so. Hmm. Like, keep the furry aspect? I don't know. I want to, possibly. Because it's, it's like, a, a big thing for me. I like, I like being in the fandom. Of course, I don't do much. I'm not known. I'm not, like, a poppy fur. And I don't, I don't like using that word. Because even when they, when a poppy fur hears it, they're like, Oh, God, really? That's how you have to ca categorize this? Okay, cool. I don't like doing that. I I don't know what I want to do. I know that I want to at least get like like animal anatomy down, so then I can like sort of just draw animals freehand with no problems. But I don't I don't know. I I'm more of a cartoonist when it comes to like shit like this, because this is what I draw. I don't <laughs> I never draw anything too complicated unless like well I mean this is a pretty basic body. This can be used. I can add, I can add pants and shit, and sort of maybe like move the the feet over just a tiny bit, and then give him some like some little some little sneakers, or in my case like <laughs> Crocs with socks or something like that. You can imagine that there's like a sock like sort of being wedged between that bit right there. the same thing here, but more, more flattened out, I guess, and less connected at the foot. Not entirely sure what this would look like. Like something like this? Yeah! Now he's got some dapper cro some dapper flip-flop, or sandals with, sandals have like the support thing on the side? Not entirely sure. Yeah, we can give this this little bean some pants. I guess. Maybe we'll just give him like a pair of shorts. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm drawing. It's but again, it's it's so fun to use this thing. I like that I can see that I can it feels like I'm actually drawing on a sketchbook, which I do a lot, a bit. I don't again I don't do I don't do anything too serious. This is basically what I draw all the time. And I have, like, I got a, a new sketchbook pretty recently. And it, I've already filled the first page with, like, a bunch of nonsense shit. Just memes and stuff. I'm gonna get rid of this shit boy already again. <laughs> nah, let's keep it up. Let's just make sure that that's there. <laughs> but I, I just, I don't really, as much as I want to learn anatomy, I don't feel like my style would work with that too well. I don't know. But it's, yeah, that's, this is basically a show, or, I, yeah, I forgot to do the, uh, <laughs> forgot to do the, uh, the, like, squiggle zest or something like that. It's, you know, like the, whoa, pin lines, woo. Let's see. Wow! Yeah, look! Yeah, there's like no like beating at the edge or something like that, because that would get annoying. 
I've seen like cheap, or not cheap, but like baseline Huion tablets. You know, like like graphic tablets, like the one I just showed you, the the H the H six S, or is it H H S six eleven? What are you called? I forget what you're called. But yeah, like look look at this. This looks good. Let me move this over just a bit. Look at that. Look at how sharp that line ends off on. There's no, like, no beating whatsoever. It looks really smooth. And I don't think that I have... Right, it, it has stabilization up. I'll turn stabilization off for the time being. And see how that looks. Not bad! It feels more responsive. Yeah, look, look at that! Look, look at that! Oh, oh. Not bad! Alright, I like it. I haven't, I haven't done the pin test yet. I did that with the last one. When I had it, and it was like, eh, it was okay, I guess. But yeah, okay. Um, now that I've given sort of like a short example, now we're gonna transition into a piece that I, or two pieces that I did with this. One of them I have somewhat completed. It was like a, it was like a celebration kind of thing, and the second one is still a work in progress because I finished the first version of it, and then I thought, hmm, he looks too cute. Let's complicate things. And I still haven't finished the body because again I don't know I don't know anatomy too well. And if I did, oh, it would help so much.
match the video, I guess. This format's kind of ex is kind of an experiment, I think. I liked it. I liked it. I it, I should have probably prepared. I this there's a lot of recording that isn't going to be in this like an hour at least. This will probably be taken down to like I think 20 minutes or so. I feel like I feel like that should be good. Yeah. I don't know why I explained this at the end of the video, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's been a while. I haven't had a reason to really make any content because I don't like, again, this is like, whatever. You, you guys don't need to know that. <laughs> I will see you in the next one, when or if that ever happens. Bye.